Okay, so let's talk about the difference between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1. Okay, so to start off, the big difference between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 is 2.0 support 4K and 2.1 support 8K. So if you want to get the best out of your 8K TV that you own right now, you need to be using 2.1 cable. Now, if you have any other TV besides an 8K TV, you need to make sure that your TV can support the 2.1 and it's available in the specs of the TV. If not, you should be sticking with the 2.0 because getting the 2.1 cable, spending extra money, and you're not going to be able to use the capability. As far as devices that's using the 2.1, we're looking at the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Anything beyond that, you really need to check the specs of the device to make sure it can take advantage of that 2.1. Now, there are plenty of HDMI 2.0 devices out there right now that can take advantage of the HDMI 2.0. Now, even though there's a difference between the 2.1 and the 2.0, the cable stays the same. So you don't have to buy a different type of cable. That's the best thing about the HDMI cable. When they upgraded to a different version, the shape of the cable doesn't really change because when they went from 1.0 to 1.4 to 2.0 and now the 2.1, it was the exact same size cable. They just upgraded the internal workings of it to make it a better cable as they change versions. Now the 2.0 cable can handle 4K and that can handle up to 60 frames per second. Now, 60 frames per second doesn't really matter because most movies are shot at 24 frames per second. Now, on the other end, the HDMI 2.1 can handle up to 120 frames per second, which is useless when it comes to movies. Now, where those high frame rate come into play is when you're playing video games. That's where you're going to really take advantage of those things. So that's the difference between those two cables when it comes to refresh rate. Now, when it comes to bandwidth, this is how much information is going through the cable. The 2.0 cable can handle 18 gigabits per second. When they added a 0.1 to the cable that took it from 2.0 to 2.1, that bumped up the bandwidth from 18 gigabits to 48 gigabits per second. So that's a huge jump. We're talking about a 30 gigabit jump between those two cables. So when one time the cable could only handle 1080p and now they bumped up to 18 gigabits per second, which can handle 4K content at 48 gigabits per second. There's nothing on the market that can handle that type of bandwidth yet. There's no content actually. Even though there are 8K TVs on the market, the content and the device that can use up 48 gigabits per second is non-existent. Now, even though there are improvements in the frame rate, the bandwidth and the resolution, there are also improvements in other areas too. The ARC port has been improved with the EARC, which is an enhanced version of the ARC port. And also the EARC can support more advanced audio format. And also you'll be able to do Dolby Atmos at full resolution over the EARC port, which is not possible over the regular ARC port right now. You're going to be able to do game VRR, which is a feature for gamers that allow variable refresh rates. Now, you really don't have to buy any cables right now. If you have 4K cables, you are good to go. But if you already own an 8K TV or you decide to buy one in the future, you might want to consider buying the ultra high speed cable and look for that 48 gigabits per second spec when you're buying those cables. Now, like I said, even though the TV and the cable might be capable, doesn't mean that your devices that you purchase are going to be able to handle that bandwidth. Because pretty much everything on the market right now at the time of this video, they're only putting out 4K content. And that's the highest. There's some that's a little bit lower, but 4K is the max that they can put out right now. So the TVs and the cable are just ahead of their time and they're waiting for the devices to catch up to them. But if you have the latest Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5, then you're good to go. That's where you're going to take advantage of that cable and those TVs. Other than that, if you don't want to spend that much money on an 8K TV that you really can't take advantage of, just go for a regular 4K TV with 
good cables, and you're good to go. Okay, so those are the highlighted feature between the HDMI cable 2.0 and the HDMI cable 2.1. All right, so if that information was helpful to you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.